I think Heidi had a little bit of a greed attack earlier and uh, had big mouthfuls of grass when we brought her in. The grass and her feed that she's sharing with Bertie in Vienna is actually very short. And uh, so she had big mouthfuls of grass and then she, I think, hoovered her hard feed up in no time. And uh, I don't know whether you can see in uh, the video that she actually has spasms in her um, food pipe. And she brought up loads of uh, mucus with a little bit of food that must have been stuck somewhere. Um, and... Uh, we're waiting at the moment for the next lot to come up because she looks like more needs to come out. Yeah, she's a bit hot. Her veins are sticking out. <coughs> yes. Uh, yeah, there you go, coming out through the nose. A good while into this now and uh, I've called the vet in the meantime who said that she's got a very, very very clear signs and symptoms of choke which is different uh, in horses to what it is in people because uh, it uh, does not go into the windpipe it stays in the food pipe and um, Heidi went actually through a phase where she was very distressed and one of the symptoms is that they go all sweaty and almost look like they're going to develop colic. But the vet says to uh, massage her uh, esophagus, which is a food pipe, and uh, get her to have the head low like this, so all the saliva, the white stuff is saliva that builds up, can come out. Um, and... Uh, he reckons that it should be self-clearing, or it is self-clearing in most cases, within uh, 20 minutes to a couple of hours. Oh, she's bringing up some more saliva there. And I've been massaging her neck. Um, the esophagus is more on the horse's left side, so you're going down there. When I was massaging her, I did it a little bit more strongly than uh, what Julianne was doing just now. Yeah, I could feel a bit of swallowing again there. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're now a good old while into this whole thing and this just came up about two minutes ago. This is the biggest lot in one go that she's brought up so far. So hopefully, hopefully that will be it now. Well, she hasn't eaten anything yet. No, so would, though, if I let her. Just let her, just see what she will do. I'm just wondering whether. She likes this stuff, but. Just see what happens. Good girl, good girl. Has she been sedated before, Freddie? Um, you sedated her when you did the ultrasound scan, didn't you? Can you remember, did she become heavily sedated? Is she sensitive to sedation? Um, I think she might be, because she's quite heavy. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't, but what do you class as heavily sedated? Well, any, any cob, cross, or heavy horses, shires and things, they tend to be more sensitive. But we'll just start with a light dose anyway. Charlotte, do you just want to come and hold her head for me? You put the tube in, uh, and then she will almost certainly start to cough. Yeah. Uh, once I get the tube to the back yeah. of the throat. Yeah. And then I have to uh, make her, or help, uh, encourage her to swallow this. Yeah. Then I'll pass it down the food pipe until yeah. I can't pass it any further. Yeah. And then I will put a little bit of water into the tube and try and jet food up. Oh, man. So the, f the water will come out at the end, and, and, and that's... We yeah. can only do so much because she'll get distressed. She'll think she's going to drown. Yeah. So because the water comes up and then gets to the larynx, then she she will cough because some of it will yeah, go down yeah. to the trachea. But other we must try and get the blockage clear now. So I have to just gently yeah. flush the food material back up, yeah, and eventually yeah. I may be able to knock it down the remainder yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what's that? Because I think her whole throat at, at one point was. Um, uh, Full, and I think I, yes. I managed to clear. I managed to clear that, but then yeah. I think the last bit is really far yeah. down. I couldn't get to it. Little poor girl. Do I need to get pneumonia as well? Do I? I'm in the esophagus now. Okay. This is food coming out. Draw this still is there. Yeah. You talk to me. Yeah. See, Fred, you need to pump with me. Yeah. Okay. So you just hold the handle and yep. slowly up and slowly, not too slowly, but up and down two or three times. One, again, two, three, 
One more. Okay. So a whole booth or four times. Okay. Half? Two, three, four. Okay. <coughs> God, they had no chances here. Right, they do, but this one wasn't going to, I don't think. Uh, the majority of them are clear within 20 minutes. Yeah. So we're up to about there. That looks a bit so, dirty. Yeah, there's, um, uh, as we would expect, really, there's yeah. always going to be food down there. But we'll... That in itself must be a bit irritating to have all that stuff there. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look terribly flame at the moment. I mean, you sometimes find they're kind of full of uh, sort of hemorrhagic spots as well. Okay, I'm coming down then. Um, so it actually looks quite calm, but I'm sure it'll look a lot worse later. Just keep feeding down. It's a little bit sore down there, just from all the coughing. Hmm. So is that a little red spot? There, yeah. there were a couple of red spots yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, a few there, just. Yeah. It's fine. That's where esophagus pushing in from the floor there. That's it. So hold on there a second. That's the right lung straight on because the image is upside down at the moment. Um, just get a tiny bit further, that's it. Okay, that's fine. Little bits of uh, mucus 
down there. I won't go any further because it will make a cough a lot if we go more, but there's nothing horrendous down there, so that's fine. Okay, we'll come back okay. then. Yeah. Well, you can you can wait. Up, yeah. Is there still stuff? There's still stuff yeah, that's right. That's, that's not blocking though. That's just yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit of see through, isn't it? It's quite angry, obviously, that thoughtful area. But, uh, yeah. Thank you. 